Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Katarina and I hope you're having a great day so far. First things first, let's address the obvious thing, these shelving units back here. I put some shelving units up. Well, actually my boyfriend put some shelving units up. I was looking at my previous videos and I was like, okay, that white wall and just like the blank white background is getting a little bit old and very bland and I thought it was kind of boring. So I wanted to kind of switch it up for you guys. As you may know from how I mentioned a couple of videos back, my boyfriend and I did move recently from Washington to Colorado and we drove and we're not staying here permanently um, it's going to just be a somewhat temporary thing so packing all of my beauty pieces and beauty decor pieces just wasn't really a priority since like I mentioned we we drove here so we had pretty much our car what could fit in the car and that was it so for a while I was just working with the white wall but I just figured this would be a little bit more fun let me know if you guys like it I am still going to kind of play around with it and switch it up back here but so far I think it's nice I think it's something different to look at and yeah back to the video today's <laughs> video is going to be all about the city color cosmetics brush set they came out with a brush set and I'm going to take you through each brush individually going to talk about them um, I'm also going to insert demos because it is how I I applied all of my makeup today. So these brushes that I'm going to show you are dirty right in here, but I have washed them once. I actually washed them last night. So today before I filmed, I went ahead and I'm going to show you each brush. I'm going to insert clips as well of them completely clean so you can see what the actual brush looks like before all the bronzer and eyeshadow and everything. But I figured inserting demos would be really helpful so you can see the brush in action as well. And I really hope that you guys enjoy this video, so let's get started. Alright guys, so this is what the brush set comes like when you order it. It comes in a faux leather case, which I think is awesome just in general because it's very travel friendly. I mean, 15 brushes are in here right now, and I feel like it's very compact and just very well made. On it, you get this slip right here, this little outsert. And on the back side, it tells you all the brushes, and it has them labeled for you, so exactly what their classified purpose is. But as you guys know, makeup brushes are makeup brushes. You can use them however you would like. Just kind of slides right off and then if you want to keep it for reference you can. The package itself has their logo City Color Cosmetics right here and then they kind of clip in here to keep shut. When you unroll it this is what your brush set looks like. Very organized. These also did come with um, covers for your brushes but I took those off so that it wouldn't blind the camera. I did keep them though because I will like to use those when I'm traveling as well. Quick information about the brush set before we get into each brush. Right now it's on sale for $24.99. Again, you are getting 15 brushes. When it's not on sale, I believe it's about $32, but I think it's going to be one of those products that's kind of like always on sale, you know what I mean? In terms of the hair, these are synthetic brush hairs, which I love because it doesn't absorb your product. It makes everything apply so smoothly and evenly and just a really nice full coverage. In terms of the quality, these really remind me of the Real Techniques brushes. I don't know if it's just because they have, the ones that I have have like that pink fair just like the real techniques but I have a couple here that are kind of similar that I'll kind of compare so you guys can see them the bristles are so soft the brush hair is just amazing okay you guys so let's just go ahead and get into the brushes on the brush themselves they're gonna tell you right here it's gonna have CCF01 the CC stands for city color and then the F stands for face and then the 01 is just the number corresponding to it so this one right here is the city color cosmetics face number one brush they consider this brush to be the large powder brush and like you guys can see this is a Real Techniques large powder brush. Um, the Real Techniques is bigger, larger, and fluffier. Um, so that's kind of like a per personal preference thing. And the City Colors is longer. The actual ferrule itself is longer. I love this brush. I use it today to set my foundation with a powder and it's so soft and just it's just a very nice setting brush. I also think that this would be a really good brush to bronze the face with. Next brush is the CCF02 brush, which they classify as their blush brush. I actually really happen to like this for blush. I use it for my blush today. It's more dense than other blush brushes that I've used, and I like that. It picks up a ton of product that we are not using that much blush that day or using that much of the actual product because it's going to transfer all of it onto your skin, which I love. The next brush is the CCF03 brush, which they classify as their tapered brush. This one, again, reminds me of one from Real Techniques. I'll show you it. It's the actual Real Techniques blush brush, but they're kind of similar, but as you guys can see, they're not exactly the same. The one from City Color Cosmetics, this one right here, is more tapered and has a more pointed end right here, so I really like using this to bronze up the face, actually. I also would see myself using this as contouring to really get into that cheekbone right there um, or applying a highlighter. It's not small enough for me to actually set my under eye concealer, which I was thinking it might be. It's a little bit too large for that, but 
I love this brush. It's one of my favorites from the line. The next brush is the CCF04 brush. This is considered their angled brush. So when I first saw this, I instantly thought contouring because it does have that very nice angle to it. And it's very slender for the most part. So I did use it to contour today. I like it for contouring, especially getting under my lip or around my nose. But I find that I can really carve out my cheekbones with this product. And also, since it does have a little bit of fluff to it, I guess you could say, it's easy to blend the product upwards afterwards. And... I really like this brush. This brush is the CCF05 brush. So this is considered their buffering brush. Yes, their buffering brush. And today I use this actually to apply my foundation. So it's not as dense as my RC Cosmetics Flat Top Kabuki, which I really like to apply my foundation with, like you guys can kind of see here. Um, but I, I actually really like the way this applied matte foundation. It gave a very airbrushed airbrush soft focus look. I could also see myself using this to press powder into my face to set my foundation um, or to put on cream blush but again you can use these brushes for however you'd like. This is the CCF06 brush. They classify this as their foundation brush. I don't personally enjoy foundation brushes that are like this. I find it to kind of create a streaky lines on your face and kind of harder to blend. What I do love using these brushes for are um, concealing under the eyes, blending out that concealer, blending out the concealer on your chin, on your nose, wherever you put concealer. I find that this really just makes it a very nice, even transfer, and then you can even go in with your fingers afterwards. This also could be a good highlighting brush, just dabbing a little bit of highlight on the top of your cheekbones, down the bridge of your nose. Okay, so now we're going to go into eyes. This one right here is a CCE01, E standing for eyes, and this is just their blending brush. I did use this to kind of deepen out that crease area today like you'll see in the demo. I don't like this for necessarily putting like a transition color in. I do think it is a little bit more dense to do that, but I find it being beautiful to build up a crease color and really define that crease. Next is the CCE02, and they say that this is an all-over shadow brush. Today, I actually happened to use this to set my concealer, and I really liked it for that. I wanted to try and use all of these brushes for everything on my face, and I was looking to try and find something that I could set my concealer with, and I was like, it is kind of fluffy. It's not super flat, so I wanted to try it, and I liked it. I would definitely also use this on my eyes to pack shadow on or to kind of build up that outer V area. I think it's just an all-over beautiful brush. This is the CCE03. This is the one brush I did not use today because I'm not really sure how to use this. They they classify this as the stippling brush, which I totally see, but I've never seen one this small. I'm just not really sure what to do with this brush. Let me know down below how you guys use a brush like this if you have one or how you would use a brush like this. It's just such an awkward shape. I guess I could have blend out my concealer this way and that would have worked pretty well, but I don't know. I, I, I'm curious about it. I feel like it has great potential. I'm just not really sure how I would get the best use out of it yet. This brush is the CCE04. This is their flat shadow it brush, which is the exact way I use it today. I use it to pack on shadow on my lid. It's a great packing brush. This is one of my favorite brushes. In general, I just really like brushes like this because I feel like having a nice one that is pretty dense as well is really going to pack that shadow on and give you the full intensity of that shadow. This is the CCE05, I believe it's called, yes. And this is classified as their cream blush. I'm assuming they mean cream as in putting like a cream base on or cream eyeshadows, it's going to be able to blend that nicely and work with it nicely and then not get stiff. Um, today I use this actually more as if it was like a pencil brush and I use it to kind of smoke out my lower lash line like you'll see in the demo and I really liked it for that. It's different than a normal tapered pointed pencil brush because it doesn't really have that strong point there but I find that it really like smoked out and blew out that bottom lash line and I loved it. Next is the CCE06 brush. They classify this as their angled liner or brow brush. Like you saw in the demo like you're going to see, I use this today on my brows. I love using pointed um, slanted brushes like this that are angled and very fine to do my brows. I just, I really like the way that it gives a crisp line on the bottom, but then it's very soft and easy to blend up through the rest of your eye. I would also most definitely use this for eyeliner, whether it be a gel liner or just kind of smudging out a liner. I feel like it's just an all over great brush to have in any brush set. The next brush is a CCE07. They classify this as the large shadow brush, which I do not see because it's, it's actually, actually a lot smaller than like the all over shadow brush and it's a lot smaller than the 
flat shadow brush. So I'm not sure why they're saying it's like a large shadow brush. I don't see that. But I love using this to highlight my brow bone. I think it does a wonderful job at that. And it'll also be really good to get the inner corner of your eye. Overall, I really like this brush. It's a unique size. I don't have many this size that are still kind of fluffy but dense at the same time. And I love this it. This one right here is the CCL01. So these are now liner brushes, which is what the L stands for. This one I actually used to kind of define even more so that lower lash line like you see in the demo. And because I use the other one for liner today, I didn't want to use both of them. But I do like brushes like this for liner. I do prefer the next one that I'm going to show you. But I love using small, fine brushes like this for that lower lash line, especially like that outer third. I feel like it's very easy to get very close to your lash line and give a very defined look. I love it. And then lastly, we have the CCL02, which they just say is a liner brush. This is what I use for my gel liner today. I just created a very, very soft and thin line with a tiny flick on the outside. This glides on gel liner beautifully. I didn't think I was gonna like it too much because I thought it was pretty big and kind of flimsy. It just looks like a regular like painting brush. But when I was doing it, it holds its shape and it just creates a beautiful line. I absolutely love it. All right, you guys, so that was all of the brushes individually. I really hope that you enjoyed the demos that I shared as well. I absolutely love this brush. I am so glad that I bought it. And I actually do have a coupon code for you guys as well for 10% off. Um, if you guys want to check out City Color Cosmetics as well, I'll link that down below. It's just Katarina with a capital C. So you guys, I think this is an amazing brush set, especially for the price. You mean, you're getting 15 brushes for $24.99. That's an awesome price. Guys, I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Please give a big thumbs up if you did. And thank you so much, you guys, for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye.